One champion in the end, but the top six in each of the disciplines making it to the Grand Prix Final. That's the goal. Next week, we'll be at Skate Canada. Johnny Weir will be there. Stefan Lambiel of Switzerland, the men's world champ, will be there, too, on ESPN Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Meanwhile, a gorgeous look here at Hartford, Connecticut, and we are inside the Hartford Civic Center. The pairs with the top contenders on the ice warming up, about to skate for the gold medal. A couple of American teams in that mix. In fact, two American teams at the top. Rena Inouye, John Baldwin Jr., the U.S. champs, but they lead by less than two points. Naomi Nari Nam, Themi Left Theris right behind. It is awfully close, and the Canadians, like Moi and Hay, rounding out the top three. They're less than four off the lead. And Peter Carruthers joins me right now, the man who won, uh, along with his sister, the 1984 Olympic silver medal and came in, what, fifth in the world's here, right? Yeah, you have to go back in the books for that one, but that is correct. 1980, yeah, way back in the books. <laughs> All right, get to the Americans. Now, uh, the last time that we saw two American teams in pairs on the podium at a Grand Prix event, 10 years ago, 1996, they're in that position right now. Well, it's very exciting for American pair skating and the U.S. champions, uh, John Baldwin and Rena Inouye have done so well. They have now made the throw triple axle commonplace. They not only can do it in practice, but they've proved that they can do it in competition, but they have a little bit going against them here, and that is that Rena has a sprained right ankle. A few weeks ago, she couldn't even get her foot in the boot, so we'll have to look for that, and John's groin, that's been giving him a problem. But it is exciting, and I think they're going to do well. They are in shape at this point. How about the team right behind them? Naomi Narinam and Themistocles left Theris. Well, you know, at, remember when they came onto the scene last year at the national championships? They really surprised everybody, but Naomi has such a strong singles history. When she came into pair skating, jumps were no problem. And boy, let me tell you, in the short program, they put down two of the best side-by-side -side triple toe loops I have ever seen. And what Naomi has is star quality on the ice. If they can bring this performance together, things could go very well in the free program for them. And skating fans certainly remember Naomi Narinam as a single skater. She burst onto the scene at the tender age of 13 at the U.S. Nationals. A rocky road followed, but she's back and conceivably could win a pairs title this season. 1999, um, I won the silver medal, and it was just, it's a completely different feeling because I was so young back then. Everything was coming at me so fast, and then um, I got an injury, and really after that, I didn't think I was going to skate ever again. <laughs> um, I went back to high school and, you know, lived a pretty normal life, and so after I graduated, I took even more time off, and I decided to come back skating, and... I thought, why don't I come back skating as a pair skater? There was something missing still, you know, um, some unfinished business, I guess, that I felt that happened in my life. So I went back to the rink and I kissed the ice because I missed it so much, and I just started from there. Representing the United States of America, please welcome to the ice Naomi Narinam and Themistocles Letheris. What a road back it's been for Naomi. And now with Themistocles, or Themi as they call him, here in their first senior Grand Prix event in second place, less than two points out of the lead. I mean, they're right there with the American champs ahead of them. A great opportunity. Maybe quicker than they thought. Very ambitious opening with side-by-side -side triple jumps. I talked about the side-by-side -side triple toes, how good they were in the short program. And here they are again. Oh, look at that, and watch them step up. And that's not enough, another set. Bang! Great start.
All important throw triple sow cow. Oh, she's got such an awareness, Terry, from all those years of single skating. You heard her say how much she missed being on the ice, getting down and kissing the ice when she first came back. Last year, this team finished fifth at the Nationals. A couple of California kids, Naomi from Irvine, Femi from Long Beach. What happened there was that throw came around the corner too much, and she... Dorota and Mary Yush, even though they've been on the scene since 95, been to the Grand Prix Final a number of times, have never won a Grand Prix gold medal. Nice and close on this throw triple loop, and he certainly releases her perfectly there. She's a little tilted, but that strong back saves her. I'd like to see that a little bit straighter, but this is their strength right here. Look at this. He'll press her right up. Dead weight. That is so hard to do. Maintain balance. Keep speed across the ice. I give him an A-plus for that because some of these lifts are the most difficult that we've seen, but this just is a problem. Watch her pitch forward, and uh, the hand comes down, and not attractive. She fought for it, though. Big time. And that kind of a microcosm of the program. It was there, but just not on. It, it didn't, there was no magic, right? Michel Gauthier, he's her coach, former coach of Sally and Peltier, Olympic champ. Now, here are the numbers. 57.21 for the technical side, 53.92, and then 111.13 for the free skate. They're on top, but it's not enough overall. They don't know it yet. It's Inouye and Baldwin who win a Grand Prix gold for the first time in their careers, even though they did not win the free skate. The team from Poland did. Yes, well, they, they did an okay job. Nobody skated great, but I really want to see people moving out and skating well uh, with speed. We're so tied up in knots with some of these uh, lifts, and, uh, I should say, uh, spins. The American champs now win. They were third at Skate America in 04, second last year. They win the gold this year. Chudek and Chudek from Poland, the silver and for the first time since 96 in a Grand Prix event, you've got two American teams on the podium. Nam and Lefteris win the bronze medal. And right now we check in with Susie Wynn. Congratulations, Rena and John. You both have come into this competition a bit injured. Tell me how you managed to really push through the free program. Uh, we take um, every day, just try to do the best we can do with the situation. And um, we've been working really hard with what we can do with dealing with the injury and, you know, physical therapy and everything. And I think it really paid off. This program is pretty new for us, especially long program is. So we still got a lot of work to do. But um, tonight, I think I'm really happy with the way we performed. Now you've got a short time before you have to go on to Skate Canada. What sort of things will you be working on when you're on the plane trip there? Well, I know this competition wasn't the, uh, the best for us, but it's going to make us realize we're our, 